This is what you need to make paper mache. A bunch of newspaper, masking tape, one cup of flour, and one cup of water. And you're gonna mix those together in a big mixing bowl, spatulas for mixing, and you probably have everything that you need to do paper mache right in your home. The project I'm making today with paper mache is a unicorn head. Start by bunching up a bunch of newspaper, starting to make your shape, and use your tape to hold the newspaper together. Now a horse head is pretty much kind of goes, has a flat nose, and then the ears come out here, and the, the, the bigger sort of jaw, cheeks, and, and the neck. So you can start to see the shape of the horse a little bit here. We're gonna fill it in with the, the jaws and the mouth, and then the ears are gonna come up off the top. I'm gonna use a little bit of cardboard to create the ear shape. So this is the form that I'm going to be adding the paper mache to. As I add the paper mache to it, I'll be able to change the shape and tighten it up a bit. I just wanna have something, a general shape to start with so that I can put the, the, the glue on top of it and that's what's gonna really make it stiff. To make the glue for your paper mache, add one cup of flour and one cup of water into a mixing bowl and that's gonna make your paste. And then if you need a little bit more flour, you need a little bit more water, you just add a bit more as you as you need it, but you want it to be sticky enough that it creates a glue, but thin enough that you can spread it on your paper. So you don't necessarily want it to be super, super thick. Tear your newspaper into thin strips and dip it in your paper mache paste. When you put your strips over top of your form, change directions as you go so that you create a strong bond. If I can't make a paper mache unicorn head, then nobody should call me DIY mom anymore. This is like the classic mom thing to do is like paper mache. Now that I've got my first coat of paper mache on my sculpture, I'm going to put it in the furnace room overnight and let it dry. The paper mache has been drying overnight and now it's ready for another layer of paper mache. I need to keep adding thin layers of newspaper until my unicorn head has reached the ideal shape of a horse head. This is starting to look pretty good. I'll let this dry for another 24 hours and then touch it up again uh, tomorrow. I still need to paint and decorate my unicorn statue. I'm using old paint that I had laying around my house for the last couple years, just in the basement. And this stuff has been sitting around for a while, so it's gotten pretty thick. So I'm using it to fill in some of the, the areas where there's cracks. I'm gonna put white all over the whole shape first and then I'm going to add the colors that I want to add. I wrapped up my unicorn in a plastic bag and taped it around the horn so that I could spray paint the horn rose gold and took it outside to do that. The spray paint's not water soluble like the paint is so it's hard to paint over top of it so I just wanted to make sure that I didn't get any on the rest of the unicorn so I that's why I taped it off. I'm painting my unicorn head blush pink with some eyelash details and a multicolor blue hair. Next, I'm adding a flower crown around the horn and ears with a glue gun and some dollar store flowers. I think it's pretty cute. I think Lennon's gonna be very impressed with mommy. Yeah. Do you wanna pull it off? Two, three. Whoa! <laughs> you didn't make that by yourself. I did make it by myself. We have proof, it's all on camera. Did you guess how much time I took to make it? 45 minutes. <laughs> 45 minutes? No, try 45 hours. I think it's worthwhile to do things that are creative and stretch you and use your imagination. I think that's a worthwhile pursuit. Plus, art is kind of like therapy, so any kind of artwork that you do is good for the soul.